9th, 2022, um, there's been quite a few mentions on this broadcast, but uh, one of them is there's a shipwreck discovery. Um, something, again, within my parameters and life frame would have been an amazing articulation, would have loved to have learned about it, learned how they constructed it before they went, how they planned for it, who's involved, how they find out about this level of human involvement and interaction with, like, discovery. It says Falklands Maritime Heritage Trust and National Geographic. Again, like, as kids, who was investing in them in North America? And why was I not allowed to participate in this level? Because this isn't travel and leisure. It's a backdoor travel and leisure. I mean, it's under the guise of treasure hunting and treasure recovery and whatnot. Um, but it would have, it looks really fun to participate in. But again, I have no doors open. I wouldn't even know where to find a door to get involved in something like this. But this is what the humans have been doing while I've been trapped in New York with, like, shrinking availability of help and my health deteriorating. Well, that was an incredible discovery in Antarctica, finally providing answers to a more than a century-old mystery. The ship named the Endurance, carrying polar explorer Ernest Shackleton, sunk in 1915. The shipwreck never found until now. ABC's Amy Robach has an exclusive look from Nat Geo. One of the greatest mysteries of Antarctica solved deep below the ice. More than 100 years after sinking, the ship, the Endurance, is finally found. In 1915, an expedition led by Sir Ernest Shackleton was making its way towards the South Pole when he and more than two dozen crew members became trapped by sea ice. The explorers staying aboard for as long as possible, but after 10 months, the ice crushing the sinking ship. These images taken by the crew as the ship was crushed were brought back and played in theaters. What happened next would become one of the greatest survival stories in history. The crew up against the brutal polar winter, living on ice drifts, and eventually making their way to Elephant Island before being rescued. It lies 3,000 meters in one of the most unexplored bits of ocean bed on planet Earth. The sea is covered usually with a shield of sea ice. For years, explorers have searched for the wreck. And now we're getting a look at a vessel that hasn't seen daylight in generations. National Geographic giving us this exclusive clip of one of the ship's masts. The cold temperatures preserving much of the structure, including that gold name. It says Endurance, and it has a gold star right there. And this is the Falklands Maritime Heritage Trust. And this is the broadcast. The idea that we can see the lettering of endurance, that gold lettering on the seabed, untarnished after over a hundred years lying down there. I never believed we'd get that quality. Its discovery has been made impossible until now because of the Weddell Sea's harsh waters and thick ice. Something I saw firsthand when I traveled to the same area last year aboard the National Geographic Endurance. This is so cool. Like research vessel. I know that they have like in the in the travel and leisure category, not this. It looks something like this, but it's strictly for vacationers. This has a purpose and I'm assuming some kind of backing because there's some like treasure hunt and then some collectors what it's like a whole system within itself like the Norwegian cruise line, Crystal Cruise Line, and whatever those are for the, for the problem children that have been going offshore and just enjoying themselves while the rest of us are getting sick and stuck on land like pin cushions. It's disgusting. The Rex namesake ship. Wow. Walking... On the frozen ocean. The sea ice here, the type of ice the endurance became trapped in, stretches beyond the horizon. 
Endurance 22 navigated this hostile environment, finally locating the wreck nearly 10,000 feet below the surface. Historian Dan Snow on board for the discovery. We found one coherent wreck that looks so like those images that we have of Endurance in late 1915, just before it sank. It is a dream come true. Pretty cool, right? You know what's amazing to me? Shackleton actually went back after surviving being stuck on the ice like that. He, he died of a heart attack on the trip, but I mean, you know, he still went back. On the trip? Yeah. Oh. When you're an explorer, I guess that's just what you do. Now I gape as we're watching this. Oh, I know. Geeky enough, they were all like yeah, right. glued to the screen for that. That is something I will watch for sure. All right, I want to show you what's... An explorer. See, like, those are the, like, facts that usually one expects... If you go to a school that a professor, a scholar professor who teaches the next generations because they want to see their people succeed. I mean, like, that's the way it used to be. It's not that way anymore, especially around here. Around here, it's absolutely disgusting. There's the trapped, entrapped, and then there's the new incomers that already have, like, their lives set up for them. And then they're the ship bags. And that's how the colostomy bag looks from like the inside in this abusive whatever that I've been stuck in in the lower 48. Unable to get employment, unable to get like the same level of education or even enter an intellectual community. There's been no entryway into like military service, air force service, armed service. Whatever. I mean, like, there's just been no opportunity to enter any of those since I arrived in 1978. I mean, there may have been sporadically attempts, but I have no idea why they all failed so miserably. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Ketteris, it's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken, it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.